we begin with the growing list of national retailers requiring masks for both shoppers and workers. Walmart becomes the latest. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langben. Now, the move comes as the U.S. sees an uptick in the number of COVID-19 cases. News 9's Phil Aldridge in the newsroom right now with more on the retail giant's decision. Melissa, Walmart made the announcement today that mask mandate will start on Monday. And it comes the day after the United States set a single-day record for new cases with more than 67,000 on Tuesday. Walmart says about 65 percent of its 5,000-plus stores, including Sam's Club locations, are in areas that have government mandates on face coverings. And this allows the company to be more consistent at all of its stores. News 9 spoke with a man on the phone who says he works at a local Walmart, and he supports the move. Based upon the spread of corona and how many people it affects. I'm totally behind it. It's a, it's a good thing to be out protecting the customers and the community from the virus. Now, Walmart isn't the only retailer making masks mandatory for shoppers. AT&T, Menards, Best Buy, and Starbucks are among other national chains, with Starbucks mandate starting today. And now we're learning Kroger is saying all of its stores will require masks, including at Pick and Save, and cops. And there's also a growing number of states requiring face masks in public. At least 28 have mandates, but there is no federal mask requirement as of yet, Melissa.